Move your hips backwards. Come back in the same spot. Oh, I go side to side. But now, just to, so I can warm up here, I'm gonna work with Coach Mikey, okay? So, he's gonna be passing here, just like uh, take a step across, push my legs. I'm gonna use my hands here to frame on the legs. Turn on my shoulder, put my foot here. I frame, okay? And I go back. We go to the other side and push, and I go back. It's a good drill to do with your partner. Here. There we go. Shrimpy. Okay. Let's go for 10. Move. Okay, so one guy, the guy on the bottom, work your hips, cape and guard your tension. Person on top is working the pass. There you go. Let's switch. Switch now. Go here, push, and pass. Here we go. Nice, Mikey. <laughs> Push the leg. You have to time the technique. Before they actually drop the for knee on belly here, he's framing, he has to shrink quick. Okay? That's it. Push. Right to side. Making Michael work here. <laughs> we all out of shape. <laughs> okay, good. Alright. Is Dobby still there? Is he there? Yeah? Okay. So, let's try to do uh, some butterfly hook sweeps today, okay? So we're gonna do some techniques from the bottom today, from the guard. So, I'm gonna start using Coach Mike here to help me out. Okay, we're gonna continue here. I'm gonna start from close guard, so that's how I'm gonna set up the hook sweep, okay? First thing I'm doing here is try to get the, the hold down. So I'm gonna try to break the grip. My head going side, and I wrap his arm here. Okay, I have the hold down. Uh, there's many ways to get to this position. Sometimes I, I swing inside and I bring him with my legs. I try to wrap his arm here. Okay, I control his head. And from there we have a lot of attacks. We're gonna work the butterfly hook sweep. Okay, so let's move here side. Actually the other way because you can see the wizard. Yes. They, they can see the hooks, okay? So, I'm gonna get here first, break the grip, oh, hold down, control behind the head, okay? Make sure you trap the arm. Now, my goal here is set up my hooks. I have close guard, okay? I'm gonna start using my feet. Oh, I bring him to me. I don't want his weight on his heels, okay? Sitting back like this. I'm gonna bring him to me with my leg. Oh, I'm gonna hook here. Try to hook under his feet. I don't know if you can see that, okay? And from here, I'm gonna start using my legs, my feet to stretch his legs and create a little bit better space. Okay, so I get my first hook in and I try to get the other side, the other hook in at the same time. Sometimes you're gonna have to Okay, if you get one in and the other one you don't have space, you keep stretching, try to get the other hook inside, okay? Now, for me to do the butterfly hook sweep, I need to try to sit up, okay? So, I'm gonna use my legs, I'm gonna try to sit up, uh, use my legs to, to push him, okay? So I sit up right here. Okay, let's turn the other way. All right, so I have the 
Wizard, I'm trapping his arm on this side. All I have to do now is try to control his elbow. Sometimes I can even hold his sleeve and push inside. Okay, but I don't want him stopping the, the, the sweep using the hand on the floor. So I'm gonna hold behind the elbow, trap his arm under my armpit here. Okay, and now I'm not gonna just uh, put my back flat on the floor. I need to, as soon as I sit up, I'm gonna lean right here on my shoulder, okay? Uh, I don't stop on my elbow, with my elbow on the floor. I need to go straight to my shoulder, okay? And now I'm using my hook right here. I bring kind of my knee to my chest, okay? And I keep my hook tight, my feet tight here. Uh, so I can sweep him. When you have the wizard, the overhook, you're probably gonna land right inside the uh, on the mount, okay? Don't try to get to side control or scarf fold from there if you don't have the underhook. So uh, my feet is on top. I'm gonna be fighting just to take my feet out and get here under his leg. Get the grapevines, okay? I control his feet, his legs here using the grapevines. I don't want him replacing the guard. So I'm gonna do with my trust. What am I gonna do here? Okay. So we're gonna get the hold down first. He's using the cross leaf grip. I break the grip, head inside. He's wrapping my arm and controlling my posture here, okay? Now from here, uh, he's stretching my legs with his hooks. Okay, feet inside. That's it. And now he's gonna be fighting to sit up. Sit up. Go ahead, control my elbow. Mount position, trapping me right here, okay? Very good. Let's do it again. Oh. One more time, this angle here. Okay, so there's many ways to get to here. Breaking the grip here, sometimes the elbows are, are tight. You can try to sit up and cup the elbows here. Try to open up. Okay, and now if I open up, I'm breaking his structure here. I'm just gonna use my legs. Okay, he pulls the hands on the floor, perfect. I just get there. I'm looking to grab the lapel. I like this lapel because that's gonna, gonna uh, give me the, some chokes, opportunities to choke, to do apply chokes here, okay? But if you can't reach because it's too far, it's okay. Just keep pinching your arm from here, make sure you're tight. Okay, from here, fight to get the hooks, stretch, feet inside, I'm gonna sit up, and from there, I'll go, lean my shoulder, oh, that's when I say here, when you get to here, go to the mount. If you try to go side control, when you have the wheel, they're gonna take your back. So you have to try to take the mount position from there, okay? Very important. One more time, here, hook the leg, I sit up, control the arm, from here I go straight to the mount. Okay, I have a perfect mount position. But now, dog, if you want to drill this by yourself, you guys want to drill this by yourself, okay? Sometimes, I can start here using sit up straight. Yeah. It's very important so I can have power on my hooks that I don't extend my legs. My legs need to be here. That's what we call the butterfly guard. Okay? Butterfly hook sweep. So from here, I'm just gonna control the arm, both arms up, and fall straight on my shoulder. Okay? You notice that I'm bringing my knee against my chest. And my bottom leg is here. I'm using my toes on the floor to help me to lift my hips up. That's the key. So I go here, up. kick, okay, go back to the other side, kick, here. You can drill this by yourself, side to side. That's actually very powerful, one of my favorite sweeps, okay. Try <laughs> yeah. Oh, my yeah, like bend, like a ball, yeah. Bring your heels in, and from here, hold, go straight in your shoulder.
shoulder. Go back. That's it. Yeah, you, you can always work the, okay, the move because sometimes you need to adjust the distance. Okay, control the distance by moving yourself up. Let's go. 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 Okay. Here. Uh, is there anyone else there? Just good old Tony Just Just do Okay, let me know, Ado, let, let us know if you have any questions, okay? Just the mirror looks up there. Huh? The mirror looks up. I can't hear you right now, so they're gonna, they're gonna talk to us here, okay? Now, oh, we can do the same butterfly sweep. So, butterfly I mean, sweep is gonna work great when our, our opponent has both knees on the floor, or sometimes he has one knee up, one knee down, okay, that works great. If he has one, this stance here, one knee up, one knee down, trying to knee cut or pass from here, I wanna get my hook right behind the knee, okay? And all I have to do is try to track his arm. So sometimes I can get the under hook, or even the collar here, okay, that I'm gonna be able to sweep him. He has no base on the side, if I track him here, yeah, you know, I just lean on my shoulder. I'm gonna be able to do the sweep, okay? But if he's sitting back, uh, I can actually start here from open guard. I control this knee, okay? I'm gonna move myself back a little bit so I can sit up. Now, my feet go inside between his leg, and I'm gonna be looking to get the underhook. Try to get the underhook, one side. Okay, let me do the other side. So here, I get the underhook and I try to grab the belt. Okay? So, let's see. Do this side here. Yes, I think here they can see. So I have open guard. I'm framing, controlling the distance here with my feet. I sit up, my feet go between his legs. Now I go here, I try to get the underhook. I grab the belt. Okay? I'm gonna use my other hand on the floor just to adjust myself here, okay? Uh, move and I stay tight. I don't wanna give him the underhook back stay in this position, okay? Yeah, I don't wanna let him get the underhook here. Sometimes they can jump and start passing the guard. I don't wanna be tight. From here, same thing. I'm looking to grab the elbow and trap his arm right here under my arm. Or you can grab his leaf and push inside, okay? All I have to do is try to trap his arm so he doesn't post his hand on the floor. Okay, so if I trap the elbow, it's even bad. It's very hard for him to, to pull back because when you grab this leaf, sometimes the guy is stronger than you. Uh, he's pulling his elbow back. If I try to throw him this way, sometimes he's stuck on his elbow or even on his hand here. Uh, very common situation. So make sure if you have this leaf, you have to Push the arm against your opponent, right? Very tight here. I'm using my knuckles here to punch inside. Or the better, best, trap the elbow. So there you go. Here. Now, because I have the underhook, I can land right on side control, scarfold position. Okay? No problem. He cannot take my back here because I have the underhook. Okay? I can trap his arm, even if he keeps shrimping here. Oh, he's trying to create space. I use my feet, try to get attached to him, okay? Very important. Go ahead, Coach Mike. Okay, so Coach Mike is gonna do it here to me. So, he get the open guard, feet on the hip. He's controlling the distance. Now, he's gonna move himself. He's controlling my both arms. Yeah, his feet in. No, he's moving his hip to the side that he has the underhook. Okay, from there he's gonna be fighting to trap my arm. Once he got my arm, here you go. Oh, nice. Okay, from there you have the butterfly hook sweep with the underhook and with the overhook. Okay, uh, we also can do the, the variation. Okay, it doesn't really matter if. Uh, Coach Mike has the underhook, or uh, if I have the underhook, 
or over who? If he's if he's athletic enough and quick, he's gonna try to stop the sweep. You stepping up with the leg, right? So I'm here. I can be here, open guard. I push myself, sit up. Okay. I can have the underhook or even the even the overhook here. So I'm trying to go for the regular butterfly hook sweep. Okay. I'm trapping his arm well, but if he's quick enough, he's gonna lift his leg up and try to stop the sweep. So it's very important I keep my hook alive here, always trying to lift him, okay? And from here, as soon as he lifts the leg, I'm looking to grab his leg. So my hand go behind his knee here, I'm gonna cup his leg, and now I'm gonna use my bottom leg, my bottom foot on the floor to do like a uh, forward hip skate. So, from here, I move myself underneath him, and I can keep using the hook to throw him to the other side. So I push him the other way, okay? And from there, I just take side control. Do that again, because it froze. When you take side control, if your hand is here between the leg, try to take your hand out, because a, a triangle can come really quick from here, okay? So keep your head down, take your hand out, okay. and get on the hook, or, Bring him in front of the hips. Okay? Go ahead, put your Here. Yeah, so you gotta be to defend the to defend the first hook sweep, you have to be quick. So he's here, he has it on the hook. Oh, he's gonna trap my arm. I don't have my arm to pose, but I have my leg. Okay, so from there he's gonna grab my leg with his hand and throw me to the other side. Yes! There we go. Okay, now he has a side control, he finished the variation, okay? That's when your opponent defend the hook sweep. Okay, in Portuguese we call this joga fora no lixo. Oh, there we go. That's what, what it's back. Yeah, throw, throw out of the, tr the I missed that whole, I missed yeah. that whole thing. Because you, you dump on the, the trap, yeah. Yeah, that's a very old school sweep. Very effective, it works really well. Okay, so there's guys that are very good at this. Uh, okay, got Marcelo Garcia. The other one even old, older. Uh, John Jack Machado. I don't know if you ever saw these guys. Yeah, they're really good. Okay, it's worth you take a look and take a look at those guys to study. Okay, so we did already three sweeps. How long we've been we've been doing that? Do you know how, how how long we've been doing? Twenty-four minutes. Twenty-four. Okay. So today, okay, I'm gonna introduce Coach Mike, the ex lasso. Okay. okay. So he's actually I brought him here. I really want him to help me out with this position. This is like uh, actually you know how this position happened. You know, remember when I was, we were teaching here before, and uh, I was teaching the lasso sweep, right? So, I was here. Yeah, so we were teaching the lasso sweep before the lockdown here. Basic lasso, so I pass my foot across. When you start pass, I trap your leg, okay, and I use your weight against you to sweep it that way, right? So. Anna was having a problem here, Anna and Jessica were having a problem here, okay? When they put the foot across, some, some guys were actually passing, one of the girls passing the knee, they were letting them pass the knee and grab me really deep, very heavy, okay? With the head control and put the hips on the floor exactly like you're doing right now. And from there it's like too heavy, I lost the sweep, okay? So I was just thinking about this, but they say, well, man, maybe if we bring the foot here on the arm, okay, it's gonna prevent you from, from grabbing my head because now I have the lasso to push away. I have the frame and I have the lasso. I can, I can start using the lasso to, to keep the distance, to control the distance, right? And look at this, man. if I grab both here, I, mean, I have both, Hands on your sleeve and both legs hooking your arm. Okay, where would you go from here? I'm gonna try to undo this first. Maybe this. This is the key because.
because this one you cannot take this it out. This it. one you are not going to be able to pull. The Q will be the, the, the top it's line. Fire. If you try to pass, I will hook your leg in here. If I go to the other side, I watch this. If I manage to go to the other side, I don't think they can see that. When no, you see the it, position it went below the screen. Okay, very, very weird. Wide. I have a... Wide back. I have a Kimura with the, with the X left. Okay. <laughs> it is very good, man. You have to try this. So, you know, we're going to keep developing that. So I, I already did a... I already showed some positions here. So, oh, it comes from open guard. He's going to do the regular lasso. Yeah, so, but... You see that how you're doing the lasso? Let's actually show them. This is a very common thing. You're doing the lasso tight here. For the X lasso, you want your foot hooking my triceps. There you go. And your leg heavy here on my arm. Okay? Of course, you gotta be pulling this knee. You don't want my hand on your thigh. And now from here, just X the arm exactly. Oh, look. Very strong grip. I cannot pass this way. Because I'm gonna give you my leg. Exactly. Oh, look at this. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Do it yeah, again. Very strong. So let's go back there. We got the last. So from here, if you have double, both hands on the sleeve, ah, oh, you look at this side. There's not much I can do here. If I, 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 I want to move, I have to drag you like a dead body here, right? So this is really very strong. If I try to pass this way, you can always hook my leg. Either up, you can hook this one. If you hook the other one, keep spinning, throw me that way now. Yes. Okay, up. Coach Mike, I did another setup here. Very beautiful. <laughs> okay. Go straight to the leg. Perfect. So let's evolve a little bit more. Okay, so what do we do after some times? Oh, I'm here, so I'm trying to pass. People say, uh, uh, I'm here, I'm sitting back here. You don't have a, you cannot push me that way because I have a good place. All my weight is here, right? So we did here, last class. If you bring this foot behind my head and take this foot to my other shoulder, Ah, oh, yes, you have the arm bar, super tight arm bar. Okay, so go back there. And now, if you bring this foot to this shoulder, yeah, and take this leg out, you have a triangle choke. Yeah, and arm bar from triangle, of course. <coughs> so, we have those. Okay, another thing we have from here, I'm trying to pass, you hook my leg. Yes, and now, if you throw me that way in my base, you have the back tape. Oh, bring your knees behind, let go this leap. Exactly, take the back. Okay, so we have a lot of positions. We have the knee bar. I don't know if I showed the knee bar here. On my Instagram. Yeah, on Instagram. But now. That was good, I got the different camera angles for what you're doing. Yeah? <laughs> okay, so. We're gonna be doing something different now because you actually touch right on the point, man. The key is always try to fight the top hook. And it is, you know, that's the only way that I see, at least now, the, the technique's not developed yet. You know, the, the, my weakness here will be the, the top hook, okay? You can start trying to push this way, right? But I still have the lasso. Yeah. But let's do like this, if you stand up, Oh, so you're trying to mess with this leg, okay? What I'm gonna do here, you're trying to push this leg, I'm gonna let go this lead with this hand and hold the collar, okay? I have a collar control and I have a frame on your neck now. I can punch your neck to create distance here, control the distance, right? So as you're trying to push this leg, oh, I'm gonna move my hips this way and try to get my hook behind your knee. Look where you're at right now. Okay, so that's a new, that's a new variation from here. Uh, let's go this way so they can see on the camera. So I'm here, ex lasso. He's trying to mess with my knee and push my top, top hook this way. I'm gonna keep the lasso holding with this hand and always pulling this grip. It needs to be tight, okay? And I'm gonna try to get a grip here on the collar. So the grip on the collar can push and can pull, okay? And what I'm gonna be doing here, I try to move my hips this way so I can put my hook behind the knee. Yes. Okay. 
right here. Right here, if you we have uh, some positions we can do from here. Okay? Number one, if I'm running away from this side, I'm um, gonna be using the collar to pull and put my weight there. Now, you see my, my, my leg is over your arm, yeah. right? So, you actually very stuck here. Sometimes there is a, there is a submission if I keep stretching, yeah. okay? There is a tap. But what I wanna do now that his weight is there, is actually let go the sleeve and let him pull his arm out, okay? Oh, I'm gonna come up on a single leg. Okay, I keep pushing him this way, and from there I can get up, finish the single leg, or even try to take the back here. Okay, so there is a collar drag from there, and it's hard for you to defend because my leg is over your arm. Your arm is here, too, right? Try to do this one. I think you're gonna like that. I think you 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 can do this thing because you're more flexible than me. Oh, I'm here trying to drag the dead body. Okay, if I start pushing this leg, the top hook, the bottom hook, I cannot mess. It's too tight here. Okay, I cannot pass this way. He's gonna get my leg. The key here, I don't know the pass yet, but we'll be fighting this leg. You know, so start fighting. Oh, get your hook inside. I'm behind my knee. Yes, right here. Uh, now I can move back this way. Okay, your arm, your leg is over my arm. Just call a drag, let go, let me pull out. Yes. That's the thing here, okay? There's a collar drag there. Collar drag to single leg, beautiful. Why do I go to the single leg? Because if you try to go on the waist, a quick guy gonna try to jump to the, to the cross body, right? Let's go back here. Now let's break it down one more time. So here, I'm trying to push this leg. Turn your hips this way. Man. Yes, even better. Now put your hook behind my leg. Okay, now from here, you're gonna let go. Oh, pull. Okay, try to go to my waist. Oh, if you grab my waist, I can try to jump and fall on the side, okay? So when you go to the collar drag, you actually try to grab the leg first. When you grab the leg and you come up with your hips, then you go for the waist, no problem. Okay, so here, oh, I'm pulling his tight. He grabbed my collar, he cut the hook in. Okay, I pull my arm out. Yes, he's right on my leg. And now there is a pull and now there is a push. Yes, keep going. That's it, oh, cruise fix. <laughs> and then you do whatever you wanna do from there. Let's see what you can do from there. It's actually cool. You have two higher belts here. Yeah. Hook. I pull the arm. Opa! Oh my gosh! <laughs> awesome. Well, let's do this one again. <laughs> That's actually awesome. You went straight to the honey pole. That's a new setup. I'm gonna be on the DVD this one. <laughs> So here, yeah, get the, get the choke. Oh, as I pull, yes. Yeah, this one that was the last one. I'm just gonna drop it down here, right here. Oh yeah. So I have now what do I take it over my left shoulder? That allows me to take my leg through. I lock my finger forward. And oh my gosh, this is beautiful. Can you break down this for us? Yeah, sure. Okay, guys. So <laughs> just learn another one, another variation here. Okay, X lasso to honey hole. By Mikey. <laughs> so let's go back there. So we're playing the same thing. I'm in the X lasso right here. Right. He starts trying to push my leg crap across. Right. I start shoot my hips out. I look for my cross right here. Okay. Remember my top leg, I hit the knee. Now this is all going to be based on me driving him off to the side. Yeah. If I stay here, I can still do my collar drag to the single, but I want to tackle the legs. I'm going to start to get him to post over. Right. So I'm going to shift my butt through and elevate my leg. Here. My weight is here on my hand. Now, as I let go of his arm, just like I did with the collar drag, I'm gonna go under his leg and post over. So I'm not gonna go over it, I'm gonna go under it like I would for X-Bar. Now, you can see from here, I'm already losing his arm out. And my arm is trapped, Mike. Look oh, at this, my arm is completely trapped. As I have his arm out, I can drop my leg, the one that was last one, into x -bar. Now, because of the way my legs are, I'm not in a traditional x I'm in reverse x which leads yeah. into the inside of the coffee. 
So from here, I get my reverse X. I elevate and take it over my left shoulder. So whatever arm is under his leg, that's the side I want to take his hips towards. Here. This is does now is my rear leg kicks straight, drops him in the hole. I lock my figure four, and I sit down. Here we can start to attack. Our oh, legs. that's beautiful. I'm glad that's okay. on video. <laughs> I have to try this. <laughs> Doug's like, I'm glad that's on video. <laughs> <laughs> you see what happens when there's more minds thinking about? That's what all you guys do it. You know. That's I'm gonna have to watch that a couple more of times. Doing. More than a couple of times. So, <laughs> I, this one is actually really cool. Uh, grab the collar, I got my hook in, so I'm gonna be pulling across. His weight is there. Now I go to the to the reverse X. From here I'm gonna lift. Oh my gosh, this is beautiful. <laughs> beautiful. Okay. And what do you do from here? Just yeah, we gotta be uh, we gotta be aware of the rules though. Yeah. The IBJJF rules you cannot you cannot attack like for example heel hooks. Like heel hooks. So right. no heel hooks are allowed for IBJJF. Okay. Right. Maybe I don't know because I'm ripping the knee here, Mike. I don't know if I can attack this leg, but I can attack this one, right? So this one maybe I can do a toe hold or, you or even. Like this? Yeah. yeah, like this. From there, so keep this one under. And now put my toes under your armpit. Under. And lock that grenade. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah. oh, man, this is so cool. Yeah, so you gotta be aware of the rules, but this is a really cool position. I like it. Quite that's awesome. awesome. Nice. Hey, I guess that's it for today, guys. Doug, you watched that, huh? <laughs> Live. I did. <laughs> Very cool. I did. I'm gonna watch it you know, a whole bunch of so times. How long have you been doing this? Yeah. <laughs> I don't think he's with it. Yeah, very nice. Let me do it again. One more time. Okay, so here. Ex lasso. Oh, he's trying to push. You see how I frame here, your neck? It's very hard. Israel, man, they need to slide oh, back a little bit here. so they're not up the screen. There's other things you can do, but we're going to go for the, for the next class. That's better. <laughs> yeah, so from here. I'm gonna make you pose, use my knee, I'm going inside. Nice. Nice. Oh gosh. <laughs> Doug says do it again, but very slowly. Yeah, <laughs> Doug, this is very high level, man. This is a different level. You know? I enjoyed do it. it again. Slowly. So he's gonna do it again. Okay? Here, do, do it facing this one. This facing this, oh, this camera? Yeah. Here, X lasso. He's gonna be grabbing my collar. There we go. So he's gonna be using the hook to push all my waves on my hand. Nice. Now shoot the leg. Nice. Uh, oh, hold. <laughs> Just remember, nice. toe hold. Brown and black belt, okay? So it's a very cool position.